Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about primary amenorrhea. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Amenorrhea is absence of menstruation. Primary amenorrhea is failure to establish menstruation. In primary amenorrhea, there is no previous menstruation. Secondary amenorrhea is absence of periods for 6 months or more after previously regular menstruation. Oligomenorrhea is less than 4 periods occurring within a 12 month interval. Now let us see about the etiology of primary amenorrhea. Constitutional delay is the commonest cause of primary amenorrhea. Turner syndrome is another common cause of primary amenorrhea. Other causes of primary amenorrhea includes pregnancy, androgen insensitivity syndrome, hypothyroidism and primary ovarian failure. Hypothalamic causes include stress, excessive exercise and anorexia. Anatomical causes of primary amenorrhea includes uterine malformation, imperforate hymen and vaginal septum. Drugs like chemotherapeutic agents can also lead to primary amenorrhea. Now let us see about the clinical features of primary amenorrhea. A proper family history should be taken to rule out family history of constitutional delay in relatives and androgen insensitivity syndrome. History of excessive exercise, changes in weight, chronic illnesses and medications should be noted. In case of imperforate hymen or vaginal septum, there will be history of amenorrhea along with cyclical abdominal pain. Now let us see about the examination findings in case of primary amenorrhea. Secondary sex characteristics should be noted. These include breast development, pubic and axillary hair. Absence of these features by 14 years indicates ovarian dysgenesis that is Turner syndrome, hypothalamic cause or hypothyroidism. Body mass index should be measured. Webbed neck and short stature should be looked for. These are present in Turner syndrome. Features of hypothyroidism should be examined. Abnormal visual fields might indicate prolactinoma. Acne or isotism should be looked for. These might indicate androgen excess. Clitoromegaly should be looked for. This might indicate virilization or ambiguous genitalia of congenital adrenal hyperplasia or due to antigen secreting tumor. Now let us see about the investigations done for a case of primary amenorrhea. Investigation should be done if a girl has no periods by 16 years of age, if secondary sexual characteristics are present and at 14 years of age if she has not developed any secondary sexual characteristics. Urine pregnancy test should be done to rule out pregnancy. Thyroid function test should be done. Prolactin levels should be estimated to rule out prolactinoma. Serum gonadotropin levels are high with low estrogen in case of ovarian causes of primary amenorrhea like Turner syndrome, previous chemotherapy and in premature ovarian failure. The gonadotropins are low in case of hypothalamic causes of primary amenorrhea like weight related and exercise induced amenorrhea. In case of polycystic ovarian syndrome, testosterone and LH levels are high with normal FSH. Keratotype should be done to rule out Turner syndrome and Fragile X syndrome. It also aids the diagnosis of androgen insensitivity. Ultrasound should be done to confirm presence of uterus and to exclude hematometra or hematocolpus. In constitutional delay, examination and gonadotropin levels are normal. Now let us see about the management of primary amenorrhea. The treatment depends on the cause of primary amenorrhea. For constitutional delay, reassurance should be given to the patient and her parents. For hypothyroidism, thyroxine should be given. For prolactinoma, bromocryptin or surgery should be done. For hematocolpus, hymenal division should be done. If the cause is exercise induced amenorrhea, exercise should be limited. Weight gain should be encouraged if the BMI is less than 19. For Turner syndrome or androgen insensitivity or premature ovarian failure, counseling should be given to the girl and her parents. We should also take steps to prevent osteoporosis. This can be done by long term hormone replacement by giving combined oral contraceptive pills. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.